Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit crazy. I'm going to fly my drone in my house. This is the Phantom 3 Standard. And I'm going to see if I can actually get it to take off and fly around my living room without damaging everything. Maybe even fly it out one of my doors. So I actually got this drone maybe three or four years for Christmas for about 500 bucks. Um, it has decent range. I've flown this out to about a mile at one point in time. So I have it on already. Let's see if I can get it to take off without breaking anything. So there's my drone. Let's get it this really far back for this camera angle. And see if we can get it to take off. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Do you think I'm gonna crash into like my couch or anything? So this may be a little bit loud. I have this really cool controller configuration with these huge antennas. I got this, uh, was it off of eBay or something or Amazon? Uh, some range extenders like I said I got out to like a mile at one point in time so let's press record on my screen here so my recording is started and I'm gonna take off on my phone <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of nervous actually I have uh, a few satellites I barely have well, let's see I have eight satellites on my phone right now so let's take off I'm kind of nervous <laughs> It's going up. Uh, bring it backwards. I haven't flown this in a while, so I'm like not good at flying it. Alright, let's turn it around. Go forward. This is. It like wants to. Oh my god! Turn it up a little bit more. I'm nervous! Ah! Well, I landed. <laughs> I've never done that before. That's crazy. So I was kind of nervous because, like, it, it doesn't hover in one spot. It, like, uh, it kind of, like, floats side to side to side. So I didn't know exactly uh, if I was going to be able to get, like, over to over my couch or anything seems like once it hits like an object it wants to lift up over it as opposed to like uh you know just staying level so i was on gps mode that time i think i have to fly in attitude mode maybe next time but i don't know if i want to do that in my house my plan was to like fly it downstairs and fly back up but i'd lose like a gps signal i don't know so that was a quick little experiment I'm gonna go fly this outside now. All right, so I got my hats and gloves on and I'm gonna go in the backyard. I'm gonna fly this drone. I haven't flown this in like maybe a year, so this should be fun. Actually, this is the first time I'm gonna be flying it at my new house, which I moved in a year ago. All right, it seems like it's a cold, windy day out here. Not too much snow. And December here, December 24th actually. Today's the date, so it is Christmas. So I'm gonna find a good spot for my camera to take off from. And uh, this is my new backyard, I guess. Well, not new anymore, but here's a good spot right here out in this open field. It is a little bit windier than I thought it was. I don't think that'll make a huge difference though. So let's put my camera down. It is freaking cold out here, so let's take off and fly around. I can barely touch it on my screen. I got my gloves on. There we go. I like this. So my drone is taking off. There it goes. I'm pressing recording on my screen right now. So let's bring it up over the field and uh, just check out my area here. I've never flown at my house before, so this is the first time doing this. Uh, it is about 16 degrees out. The uh, coldest I ever flown this actually was in negative 10 degree weather, and uh, that was a terrible night. I thought I was going to lose a finger that night, so I was able to bring it out maybe like 800 meters that day, and uh, I flew about for about 10 to 15 minutes before the battery life was actually completely done. So this is my house right here. I have a huge field in the backyard. I believe it's a bean field. And if you look up over the uh, in the horizon there, that is 
the lake. So I live right next to a lake. Let's do a quick 360 view. It is beautiful, isn't it? Bring this up a little bit more. Looks like we got some ice actually for me. I didn't expect there to be ice. A lot more ice than I was expecting actually. So let's bring it over there. Oh, there's some water or is that ice? I'm not sure. I'll fly it a little bit closer. So I can still see my drone off in distance, but I'm just using my phone here. So I don't know what we're looking at. I think that's ice. So there is a school somewhere over here too. So I'll get it to about the edge of the field and I'll turn it around. What am I at? I'm at about 70 meters high and I'm at a distance of about 300 meters out right now on my screen. So let's turn it around here. And there's the highway. Oh, let's bring this all the way up. There's the school right there. I can get a better view of that. So there's the school. Looks like I live by a bunch of farm fields all over the place, huh? So here is this huge field. Big field. So let's go over my house here. Fly back over my way. So let's see, I'm getting closer here. I'm about 300 meters out again. Fast approaching. I can hear that car going by. I see it on my screen right now. So I live right by a golf course too. Let's go lower. I was going to check the, the gutters in my house. So environment, caution, something, etc, etc. So let's actually got a bunch of pine trees in the way here. I'm going to have to maneuver around. High interference environment, fly with caution. Here's a big gust of wind. There I am on the ground there. It is cold. Wow. So I hear it flying above me. Let's go check my gutters real quick. See if I got any leaves in those. Yeah, watch out for the trees. Okay, that's good distance up there. So here's my got a satellite dish on there. You know what? I think that gutter is good right there. What do you think? Let's check the front gutter. Got to watch out for the tree. I'm getting real close to it. I don't know. I think my gutters are good. I think I did a good job. So let's put the planets in. Ooh. Merry Christmas everyone, this is Tim, landing my drone, here it comes in for a beautiful perfect landing for the day, get a nice shot in there with me in the drone. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim from Your Six Adventures.